stay awake. No sleeping. Did you just poop on my foot? Yeah, I know. Hello, this is Glenn again with Falcon Quest, Birds of Prey. And I'm just gonna take some time and share with you a little bit about Delilah, the spectacled owl, as you can see before you here. And just take a little bit of time and explain to you a little bit more about her, about this unique species that comes to us from Central and South America, being the largest of the tropical owls and uh, having kind of a unique, uh, uh, a unique showing in the United States. There's just not that many of them here in the United States. There's a few around obviously because I have her and she's a young bird and she came from a avian breeding project and I was able to get her and I thought I would go ahead and talk to you about her a little bit. She is uh, in her juvenile plumage. Uh, she is uh, hatched this spring and she's just a matter of months old. Her uh, feathers are almost grown in. I'm gonna go ahead and, and uh, take her off here, untie her knot. You'll notice that she is on her tea perch. Uh, we use these during our presentations uh, when we're talking with, with people as ambassador animals. She has her uh, jesses on, so we say she's all jessed up and she has her jesses on and um, I'll bring her up here closer to the camera so you can see her a little bit better and um, as, I, as I describe her a little bit more. Again, as I said, she's in her juvenile plumage, so she's predominantly white. Now her back, you know, we have, we're getting more colors on the back. Trying to get you to see her a little bit better. And see this color back here, this darker color here? That color, as she matures, is gonna become more dominant in her coloration. In fact, her head will become that color. Her chest here will remain an off-white color, but that darker color is gonna predominantly overtake her. And it's gonna take her approximately two to three years, maybe in some cases even a little bit longer than that to be fully changed into her adult plumage. Owls, unlike some birds of prey, don't always molt all their feathers each year. So let's say next spring when she goes into the molt, she's not gonna replace every feather. And, uh, but the feathers that she does replace, they'll start coming in a different color. Eventually, around her eyes, around, <laughs> around, around each eye, there's gonna be left a band, a white band around her eye. And this is all gonna turn black, or the color that's on the back of her here. It looks in the video black. And that band is gonna make it look like she's wearing eyeglasses. And that's where they get the term, the name, spectacled owl. And so the spectacled owl doesn't look like she's a spectacled owl now because of her coloration. She looks more like some kind of a character, because like some bandit, the masked bandit or the masked owl or something like that, because it seems like she has something like a Zorro mask on. And it gives her a really cool, unique coloration with those yellow eyes looking back at you. The spectacled owl, um, as, like I said, as she changes her coloration, um, will go into, a, into the maturity stage at approximately three to four years of age. It can vary. And at some times, those owls will actually start going into reproduction mode, and they'll still have a few of their juvenile feathers um, as part of their plumage. And, but the thing is, is once the spectacled owl uh, reaches mature coloration, we're not then able to look at her and say that, uh, wow, there is a young spectacled owl because she could be four or five years old in mature plumage and you wouldn't be able to tell if she was 15 years old or 20 years old because the coloration then stays the same. In captivity, these birds can live 20, 25 years. In the wild, it's presumed they live less because there's more hazards in the wild. Um, hazards, hazards such as starvation, storms, natural events such as storms. Many birds of prey um, succumb to injury while they're hunting after an animal, they get injured, they might injure a wing and 
a wing or injure a leg or, or the animal that they catch fights back and they get injury to the eye or to the mouth. Um, whatever the case might be is there are hazards out there when you're an apex predator at the top of the food chain and you're trying to survive you're trying to just make a living by surviving and you catch an animal and it hurts you because now you become hurt in the hunt you're you become weaker because you're not able to catch the, the good nutritious foods you're you're having to succumb to maybe even to the place of it, you're just eating insects to survive what happens with the apex predators if they become injured, they become weaker, and when they become weaker, they're not as powerful in the hunt. And these apex predators oftentimes live at the brink of starvation. I don't like about this leash it has the pattern of a snake and when it's on the grass on the ground it kind of trips me out sometimes